Are you an ambitious artist and you're wondering whether or not the gallery route is the one for you? Well, if that's the case, there's three questions you need to ask yourself first. Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm a passionate art collector. I'm an art dealer, curator and former art gallery owner. I was a dealer in New York and in Europe and in Switzerland where I'm based now. I help artists who are ambitious to figure out whether or not the gallery route is the one for them. And if that's you, well, you're welcome and you're in the right place. If you're thinking of finding a gallery to represent you, there's three questions you need to ask yourself first before you go on that journey. Number one, what's your vision? You gotta ask yourself honestly, why do you want to have a gallery in the first place to represent your work? Is it because you want to have international representation? Is it because you want to have more buyers? You want to sell more? Maybe you want to be a professional artist so that you can pay your rent and feed your cat and not just be a hobby artist. Whatever your reason, be clear about it because that will influence the type of gallery you need to look for. Question number two you need to ask yourself. What category does your artwork belong to? In other words, what kind of artist do you think you are? Are you more the bella arti, the fine artist? In other words, you work with paints, you work with oils, or maybe you work with watercolors and you work like sculptures, for instance. Maybe another category you think you fit more into is you're a graphic designer, illustrator. In other words, you maybe do works that can be published in books and printed in multiple times. Photographers belong in the multiple uh, category. Maybe you're a craftsman. Maybe you work with ceramics or maybe you're a jewelry designer and you work with different materials with your hands. Maybe you work with yarn. Whatever type of category you feel you belong to, you need to be very clear about it because being able to describe yourself and describe what kind of artist you are will help a potential gallery have a vision of how they can work with you and where you fit in their program. So, figuring out what category you belong to is extremely important. Question number three you need to ask yourself if you're looking for a gallery to represent you. Who are your buyers? Who are your buyers today? And who are your buyers you would like to have in the future? Let's have a concrete example. Maybe you are a graphic designer and you are working as an illustrator and currently you sell your artworks to publishers of books, for instance. However, you would like to create watercolors and paintings and artworks that are, let's say, one-offs, unique. In other words, they're not printed multiple times and you would like a gallery to represent you. So understanding that will help you to find the right gallery for you because Right now, your buyers were books, publishers, and your future buyers, however, who you would like to have are the art collectors, the people who buy from galleries, maybe. People who have paintings and works on paper, and they want to buy art for their personal collection, to decorate their home. In other words, you want to come away from the corporate clientele and you want to move into the consumer clientele. So that is an example of how your brain needs to work a little bit to understand who are my people, buyers now, who are buying my works at the moment, and who do I want to buy my arts in the future? Now, if you have a clear answer for that, that would also be already the answer to your question, do you need a gallery to represent you? Because if you're very happy with the status quo as an illustrator and working with corporate clients, you don't need a gallery at all because a gallery is not interested in working with a graphic designer. They want to work with an artist who maybe only does one-off artworks on, on paper, for instance. So having those three questions answered, let's summarize. What's your vision? What category do you belong to? And who are your buyers? Answering these three questions honestly will guide you in the right direction of whether or not a gallery route is the one for you. Now, if you found this very quick and dirty video helpful, then I suggest you not only check out my other videos after this, but do visit my full course on the subject of gallery representation, is it for you or not, on Skillshare. 
Skillshare, if you're not already a member, is a fantastic platform where you have a huge selection of various courses, specifically also for the artist, where you can learn new skills, where you can understand how you can market your work, use social media, various questions are answered for you and all you have to do is pay a monthly fee and it's a bit like Netflix I would say where you just pay once and you have thousands of courses that you can choose from. The good news is I've got a, a link down here just check it out and it will give you one month free membership and I look forward to see you there. Bye!